You uh, wait, what was I gonna say? Um. Oh, fuck. Get in the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Morty! Yeah, we have to send you back to the future! <laughs> Dude, you're gonna make this Let's Play look so stupid with your dumb jokes. <laughs> Anyways, this is where Link pulls out the Spork of Doom! Oh my god. <laughs> Why are my clothes blue now? <laughs> Dude, you didn't know that if you keep green clothes out uh, in the middle of the uh, air, the midi chlorines will eventually turn it blue? <laughs> He's a Jedi? <laughs> No, dude, that's a cereal. <laughs> dude, in my biology class, we were talking about blood and, you know, what's in the blood and everything, and the teacher didn't even mention the Metachlorians. Yeah, she's a fucking idiot. She should have her entire degree revoked. She's got a PhD? <laughs> I don't think so. You're not even talking about the Metachlorians. She should have her degree revoked, and she should have her hand cut off with a lightsaber. I think the, uh, the Nocturne of Shadow sounds kind of cool. I was just about to say that. It sounds pretty cool. Dude, even though there are barely any notes, these little jingles, these melodies, they sound pretty <laughs> damn good. Yeah, especially if you think about what little resources they had. This is the cool part that I'm glad we have to inspire for. Honestly, look at that scene. That looks pretty damn awesome. Dude, oh, like, you got up on it? That looks really cool, dude. This whole area, dude, like, this this spot right here uh, where the Shadow Temple is, this is another thing that really impressed me as a kid because there's the graveyard with all the uh, graves that you can go underground in and rummage and everything, and I thought that was cool enough. Let alone, like, look at this with the windmill over there. But it's... then I find out there's a whole temple over here? That was yeah. just insane. Dude. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, dude, I spent a lot of time as a kid looking at that gate and trying to jump onto it. Yeah, so did like, I. Off of the tombstones. Yeah, me too. And see, when I, what? Even when I got the hook shot. I think this looks really cool. This is cool. why I told you to get the Dins Fire. Yeah, this looks creepy and, like, cryptic. Yeah, this is awesome. You come down here, and it's like, what the hell is this? There's, like, this ancient language or something on the ground, and then you just see this sealed door. And oh, I had another CR word. It also looks like crap. <laughs> I actually... No, oh, wait, use Dins Fire for this. I, I will. Of course I will. I've never not used Dins Fire for this. Oh, well, I thought you said you've gone through it and you haven't used Dins Fire before. No, uh, I, you've got to be mistaking me for someone else. Uh, Crenshaw. Anyways, um... Crenshaw? The fucking city in California? Uh, just... And, anyways, I, I want to talk about something. Here. Yeah. Um, you see, if you look right here on the podium or whatever the hell this is, you can see the outline of the fire medallion. You can? Yeah, because you were originally... Cool. Originally, you could use the medallions uh, in the beta version, the, and the fire. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, and the fire medallion is what you used right here. So I think that's really cool. Yes, I, I think that's really fucking cool. If but, only it wasn't, you know, didn't look like crap, and you could barely tell. And yeah. You had to have someone tell you a story about it. Yeah. But it's still really cool that they had that. Why not, dude? That's a good idea. Yeah, and it makes perfect sense, but. Uh, like, you get something really cool from each temple that you, after you beat yeah, it. Yeah, instead of some medallion that Link just looks at like, Oh my god! And then never fucking Although, it would have been a little tedious to have six of them that you're switching in with your CI. Just use it. Oh, I, I, I want to talk about how fucking badass I thought this was. Cause it was yeah, that fucking stance yeah. he makes as well. It reminded me of Dragon Ball Z shit. Yeah. And I, I just had him do it all the fucking time. Yeah, just like, you know, no, that was really, probably to me, the coolest thing in this game, uh, as far as Link's attacks, was the fire attack. Yeah, yeah. Nehru's love was really cool to me as well, though. Yeah, I really liked Nehru's love when I started fighting the Iron Knuckles. I always used it, because I used to suck bad enough. I I'm going to get Nehru's love, eventually. So. <laughs> I'm going to get Nehru to love me eventually. <laughs> I was already using the Eye of Truth, and then it stopped me to tell me to use the Eye yeah. of Truth. Anyways. Um, uh, interesting enough, with with speedrunners, they uh, don't get the Lens of Truth, so they just guess. And uh, it's it's actually different each playthrough, so uh, you could possibly guess wrong. Uh, and they just they just guess, and if they guess wrong, it adds more time to their Let's Play, or to their speedrun. <laughs> 
Dude, I just heard like a really weird noise and I thought it was some ambient noise I never heard before, but then I realized it was just kids outside your door. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool, dude. You just hear kids screaming and like high definition over the kind of grainy Nintendo 64 quality. There, there was shit like that in Silent Hill. No, Wait, why did you keep turning it? Because I didn't mean to. I thought I it would stop, but my, con my controller stick stuck, so let's just make another round. Oh, barger. <laughs> oh, fuck you and the gay ass. <laughs> all right. This is the Shadow Temple. We're supposed to be real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come, oh, my God. I feel like I'm never going to get there. <laughs> but this is where the game takes an interesting turn where the later temples become very easy mm -hmm. and uh, very short. But when I got here, I felt so much like I was at the end of the game. And I just, I had been wanting to play the Shadow Temple for so long. And I just thought that I just thought the Shadow Temple was so cool. And that right there, dude, I love faces with like gate mouths that would open up. Like, you kidding me? That I thought that that was fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um. For me, what did it like for this this temple? Uh, I was younger than you, so I was scared by a lot more shit. Um, That's just because you're a bitch. <laughs> So I was younger than you, uh, <laughs> and um, I uh, like I couldn't go into this temple all the time. I kind of needed like breathers and shit like that. Oh uh, my but, god! But but this temple like sets the the best atmosphere out of any temple, I think, uh, as far as like making it spooky as spaghetti. Um, <laughs> oh god, dude. No, it really does, though. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't disagree at all. I, oh my God, shut up! Not out of you. all the temples, this one uh, sets the be best atmosphere. Like the the fire temple, I agree. Now that I've heard the music for that one, but even still, this music fits really where where it's just always ominous and you know, like look at this. You enter a fucking room, you just see some guy just crouching down in some weird way. Yeah. There's some weird dead dude that I have to lunge at and immediately kill for him to not fucking hump me. But, oh yeah, when to truth it up. It's also cool there's all these invisible things in yeah. here. Yeah, invisible enemies even. Yeah, not just enemies, but just the whole the whole darn thing. I have a funny, kind of funny story. Did I, have I ever mentioned where my grandparents used to live uh, called The Country? Well, they still live there now, but... When I had to go out to this place called The Country as a kid, which was in rural Arkansas where my uh, grandparents lived, which I really hated going to. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I would always bring Ocarina of Time because I, I pretty much beat this game over there. And I had finally gotten to, I had just gotten to the Shadow Temple at my house and then we had to go to the country. And I, I really didn't want to go, but I was like, okay, I, I've, as long as I've got, you know, this, that's fine. And I, I wasn't the one that packed up my Nintendo 64, though. My dad did. I don't remember why. But the whole ride there, I kept asking him, are you sure you got it? Like, are you sure you got the right game and all that so much? I asked him so much because I was so serious about, you know, being afraid that I would not be able to play it. That I just completely drove him to the insane to the point he was yelling at me on the car ride over and got there all pissed off and just ruined everyone's night. Well, I fucking played the, the Shadow Temple by myself. <laughs> Yeah, but as a kid... Who held that, that jar, though? What? That, that jar just disappeared when I threw it. Oh, that's a spooky jar. <laughs> what were you saying, <laughs> um, though? Yeah, as a kid, you immerse yourselves nearly immediately into, like, video games. Uh, which is why it was a lot scarier. As well as, you know... Uh, oh, God. You're, oh, my God, you got double grabbed. <laughs> I'm double it's grabbed. like you're being strangled. <laughs> Okay, come on, buddy. This is my favorite enemy Shoot him in the with game. Arrows. You can do that now. Did you see what happened? He's got no. major. He's got well, reflexes it's hard like to the. See. Anyway. Is he like dodging them? I thought you could shoot him. With yeah, arrows. he dodged them. All right. Damn it! You should use the uh, fire in this room. Hey, you're right. Burn those hands to a crisp. You're right. When you're right, you're right. I forgot I even had the fire arrow. Come on. Watch me make fire come out of my body somehow. Yeah, that worked. Destruction! Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> oh! 
him and he's right there. Come on! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> this is hilarious! Oh my god! It doesn't hurt you, so it doesn't even fucking matter. No, but it's silly. Well, of course, you're involved, you goofball. What? I don't know. Oh, cut! <laughs> stunt cut! Stunt gecko! That's from Gex. When you get hurt, he yells, Cut! Stunt Gecko! <laughs> Although, I used to accidentally combine Cut and Stunt and say, Cunt! Stunt Gecko. Anyways. Now you have the super badass, lame as hell, mysterious hover boots. I thought they were badass. I did it too as a kid until I realized how fucking gay they were. Uh, I still think they're pretty cool, dude. I don't. It's like the wings of Icarus. Oh, shut up, faggot. <laughs> No, but seriously, I think they're pretty damn cool, uh, the idea of hovering, dude. Oh, dude, as a kid, I was obsessed with anything that hovered. Oh. Hovering was cooler than flying to me. These, uh, don't these what? things look like doors out of Doom? They always reminded me of that. They, to me, they look like those Mexican kind of family emblems. Oh, yeah. Have, like, yeah, I agree. Day of the Dead kind of shit. Well, um, you were but saying, anyways. Yeah, hovering. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I thought hoverboards and shit like that was way cooler than flying. Not like the gay-ass silver sh surfer shit. Damn it. Like, probably Logan liked as a kid. <laughs> but, um, like hoverboards and stuff like that, it was like the coolest fucking thing. Anything that could hover, like the idea of uh, weird vehicles that looked like, a, like motorcycles, but instead of riding on the ground, they hovered. Or even like cars, even though I, I really thought cars were really stupid and lame as a kid. <laughs> uh, but if it was like a cool looking car with a car with a lot of jagged edges and stuff like that, and it could hover, I thought that was really cool. Uh, I thought hovering was kind of cool, but I thought flying was way cooler. Like, because... no, I, I really didn't. I agree. I agree now that flying's cool, I, especially I... after being in the air force for uh, three years. <laughs> Uh, mainly, what made me think flying was so awesome, like, I didn't really think flying was anything too special until I uh, started getting into Dragon Ball Z, where like every character could fly. What the hell? Die. Okay. Flying was made lame to me by Superman. I Dude, I thought Superman was cool as a kid. Oh, of course. Did you have Superman tidy whities Um, no, but I did have Toy Story tidy whities as a kid. Do you have fire arrows? You should light them on fire. Yeah, I do have fire arrows. Leave me alone! Look at Link's face. He's just like, if I don't look at him, he doesn't <laughs> exist. It just looks like he doesn't even fucking care. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he doesn't even know he's being attacked. Okay, if I can not get frozen. This, this, I bear you no remorse. It's not working. Why not? I have no idea. You're but... making me look like an idiot, Wes. <laughs> you make yourself look like an idiot, Wes. Alright. I, th I thought these mummies were badass as a kid, because this is the first time you see them, and I was obsessed with anything ancient Egypt as a kid. And in my fine arts class, like, that class is boring and gay, but we were talking about ancient Egypt in one class, and so there was something interesting there. Uh, I've actually, like, recently, just in the past summer, picked up on a couple things from ancient Egypt just because of museums. But, um, I thought it was kind of funny how, like, in ancient Egypt... Uh, they had a lot of similarities between, like, other cultures as far as, like, bringing things from the dead. Like, have you heard of that, that tomb where the Chinese emperor, like, took an entire army with him? Um, no, that doesn't sound familiar. Oh, well, uh, I forget what it's called, but, um, anyways, uh, in, in Egypt they had, like, dolls that, uh, they would take with them, and I just thought it was the most conceited thing because they would take these dolls with them that were supposed to animate themselves into life and then purely serve them for like cooking or cleaning or something specific. And it's <laughs> like the most conceited fucking thing possible. And way to make something kind of cool in concept really lame. Yeah, and then also, uh, they, uh, they had like scarab beetles and those kind of beetle things. Yeah, that I know what you're talking to... about. Yeah, th those were supposed to be like their uh, indulgence is or whatever they're called uh, that uh, you know take their get their sins uh, taken away from them. 
while consuming their flesh. Yeah, <laughs> and then they all started flying around and shooting fireballs at each other. Let's talk about this room for a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just look at... Dude, this is another thing. This was my favorite temple as a kid, and, and I think it's uh, second to the forest temple. It's forest temple than this one, because... This is, I thought, I still think this is cool. These weird twin, like, uh, Reaper Scythe things. And then you yeah. fight, the, these kind of look like Gibdos to me. Not Gibdos. What are those fucking ninjas in uh, Majora's Mask? I thought that sounds right to me. Oh, were they Gibdos? Possibly, yeah. Well, it was the the ninja things, whatever they were called from Majora's Mask. I, I, so I, I thought those were really cool uh, because of that. Can you hook shot up there? Yeah, I think you can. <laughs> not, not, I think the wooden side, though. Or there's a thing on the top. Yeah, yeah. I, I was pretty sure there's a thing. It's also cool just, you know, the the kind of dungeon, at, uh, like the way everything looks aesthetically like a dungeon, and there are just chains uh, hanging around. Like, yeah. It's not like, well, so, sometimes you actually do see skeletons, like the skeletons of people. Okay, you're going to fucking get hit by it every time. I was trying oh to find God. where to go. I couldn't find you can, it. You can duck under them, you know? How so? You just use your shield. Oh. No, I'm gonna be a man and take the hit. I think it's cooler because it's like you're playing a video game. You might as well actually go around the obstacles as to make it look more interesting. I don't remember if there's anything else I have to do. You hit L. Uh, no, did that you, didn't work. No, you have to go crouch down, like shield, and then crouch like that. Oh wait, I used to know that. Yeah. Um, or you can roll like that. Epic dodge. Alright. Um. <laughs> Why didn't I just roll anyway? Anyways, I forgot what I was going to say now, but... You were saying... Oh yeah, it's just really cool how everything is a dungeon aesthetic. And it's just like... It's like, you know, it's weird because it's like... It doesn't seem like it's a dungeon, so it's purely just miserable and, and torturous for the aesthetic purpose, which makes me just think like the most sadistic bastards built this place. Yeah, and what, isn't this supposed to be like, like what did they worship here? Like what was the actual point to exactly, this Exactly, yeah. Just the yeah. most sadistic kind of like fucking creepy uh, cult possible. Yeah, like these are just weird creepy people that built this place. Weird <laughs> sick freaks. I can hear a, a sculpture of it. The Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> Thank God they're not located in Arkansas like I used to think they were. That I don't think it's weird too, but we talked about it before. The dumb, the big dumb lips it has. Yeah. I don't know where to go because that room there wasn't anywhere to go. There's just a block blocking the way. I don't think I go back here. No. Ooh. We're back. Okay, now we're back. Whatever. We weren't back. You know, that was just supposed to be like a five second break while I figure out what to do. You know, the longest it would be like maybe two or three minutes. It ended up lasting like ten. Well, I had to restart my computer and then it was like, would you like to configure updates? Well, no. It just configured them. I never got a yes or no thing. Oh, really? Yeah. I was wondering why it was taking so long. Okay, we're back again. No, no, don't throw it. Just drop it. So which one of us is going to sing the Eminem song? Which Eminem song? The one where he's like, back again, you know. Oh, uh, neither of us because that's retarded. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Down with the wall of skulls. Oop, and there's a locked door. <laughs> and my health is bad, damn. How did it end up that bad? I don't know. This is where you insert a uh, comical montage of all the times you've been hit in stupid ways. Like that one right there. But that was because the controller stick got caught going forward and I just walked right into him. Well, I do remember a particular room where you literally just let two reapers kind of dice you up over and over again. Oh, yeah. That's probably where my health got so damn it. You think I would know? I think I figured it out by now. Oh, this room sucks, dude. It's cool and everything. It's really cool. This is probably my favorite room in the in the uh, Shadow Temple. 
But those goddamn skull chills are so annoying. They are really fucking annoying. Now, this and is these cool. things are annoying as well. But this uh, is cool. I like the guillotine. Yeah, the guillotines. Or isn't it called a guillotine? No, it's called a guillotine. I know, I was just kidding. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> no, I like, I like there's like two little rat guys up here. Anyway. I didn't here. really notice those. Those look pretty cartoony for how dark this Damn guy is. Damn it. How many of these fucking guys do I have to be? Oh wait, I want that heart. Those things don't kill you in one hit, do they? Uh, I think they do actually. Yeah, they do. Are you sure? It zones you out, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. No. Like I said, doesn't hit, it doesn't kill you, it just takes a little bit of damage. <laughs> oh great, now I gotta watch out for the monsters that hang from the ceiling. I think I'm They're talking about the, uh, oh, the bloods. Talking about the what? The bloods and the crypts. Yeah, they hang from the ceiling. Well, they are monkeys. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Actually, when I lived in Hawaii, uh, most of the bloods were fucking, like, Asian dudes. And the they had bloods in Hawaii? Yeah, we have Bloods and Crips in Hawaii. The, there are a huge amount of Bloods and Crips in Hawaii. That's not just well, a South in, Central LA thing. Although that's where... Here in the big OC, I have Bloods and Crips assaulting me daily as I walk to school with my brown paper bag lunch. No, I'm, I've never seen a Blood and Crip in my life. Really? Well, you don't live in South Central LA, though. I live in your Belinda, the land of gracious living. Dude, here in fucking Arkansas, there are so many Bloods and Crips, dude. It's just ridiculous. That's one nice thing about living in a shitty state, is you don't have to worry about young black people thinking they hard. Okay. I'd rather prefer that no young people think they hard. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. No young people think they hard, please. I think I'm hard. I don't think I'm hard. I am hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I'm hard. I just go hard. <laughs> I just am hard. I'm hard as a diamond. Uh, okay. Wes and Jeremy, go hard. Uh, anyways, I kind of don't want to ever talk about that again, but, um... <laughs> I never even talked about this room, because we're fucking talking about gangster culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go back and look at it. Yeah, I really like this room the most Most of all out of the spirit or the shadow temple. Oh my god, stop getting hit. <laughs> um, I suck. Because nothing, it's like, this is, I think, one of the darkest rooms in the entire game. And all it is is, like, a bunch of, uh, you know, guillotines, chains, weird platforms, uh, yeah. terrible enemies, and then uh, nothing but this dark chasm of abyss. It, it, lo it just looks really cool, especially, like, these uh, skinny platforms and, and how, like, they hollowed out, like, you know, look how far underground you are. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It, it's really fucking crazy. And, and then, it's like this death-defying journey. The, set, the first time you go here, it's just like, where the hell am I? Yeah, you know, dude. This, this temple is absurd. Yeah, it's really mischievous, I think. Like, there's something almost playful about this room. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh... I'm gay. To, but to be <laughs> honest, um... That room, actually, to be... It really isn't that impressive, comparatively with a lot of rooms in the game. Now that I look at it that uh, at it now, it's pretty feature barren. Like it uses a lot of it doesn't it has a lot of negative space. No, but it does, it think they could have done more with that room. Now that I look at it, I I got I'm fine with it, dude. I mean, it was a Nintendo 64. What do you want from them? No, I, I want what the rest of this game is really good. Look at this room; it's full of shit. I'm just saying, like, it's a really iconic room, but it could have been even better. It, I just told you it was like my favorite room in the game. Yeah. So I think it, I think it's still really good, but I think it could have been better. I, why do you hate the room? I hate it because it's gay. <laughs> uh, but like, never... what? Imagine if there was uh, even more of those like uh, hanging platforms, and they like, you had to start like jumping on them when they were at different levels. They could have made it more challenging. And they started maybe. getting smaller or something like that. Ooh. Okay. Was it really as simple as that? I didn't think you could do that. You gotta go to the side. Oh, right. 
This reminds me of a room in Banjo Tooie in Glitter Gulch Mine, but you never played those, that game. Those statues that were holding up the Gwillow teens, they seem to be uh, they seem to be like something from Banjo Tooie or Kazooie. Oh, because they're all goofy looking. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> They look like they talk like hee 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 if they were actually... Yeah, I guess I kind of see that. If they were actually banjo co whatever characters. Um, banjo co whatever Yeah. Okay. We gotta go to the side. But I can't go to the side and that one... Don't... Hmm. Well, you've got to get the block from somewhere. I forget where the block is, though. Ah, oh, fuck me. And the gay ass. Alright, uh... Are you sure I don't have to hook shot up there or something? I think you need a block. Find the block. Yeah, you need a block, but I can just run underneath it, so it doesn't even fucking No, matter. but you have to get... Wait, what? Yeah, you're right. I don't. I forget how this puzzle works. I did this fairly recently, within a year. Oh, oh god, we're just idiots. I know, we're probably missing something so fucking obvious. Um, 